Today is January 7th, 2022. This is episode 177 of Maelstrom Radio. Maelstrom Radio. With your hosts, Vladis and Shinter. And welcome everybody to Maelstrom Radio 2022 edition. With me, as always, is my good friend and co-host, Quentin. Welcome to the new year, friend. (laughs) Wow, it is the new year. It doesn't feel like it's only been a week, but yeah, it's been a week. It, true. <laughs> it, also, it, I'm flipped today. You are on. We're switched phone. around. I can, I can face this way, although my screens are over here, so that really doesn't help. No, but... <laughs> I mean, I can fix you. Mm, no, I don't need to be fixed. I mean, I can't fix you that way. <laughs> I can't fix you. Has, bop that way, <laughs> Susan. There, there. Thank you. I'm I'm back to flipped, um, yeah. which is still flipped from what I see on my screen myself. But you know, it makes more sense if I'm facing you. Mm-hmm. You're facing me. All makes sense. It um, does. Yeah. I was yeah, Susan. It's been more than a week since we've had a live episode. It's been almost a month. Hello, uh, but it has been a week since the new year has started. It's true. Um, so. I will say uh, there, you'll notice that the this the Twitch chat uh, is not showing up. Uh, I did switch our Twitch chat over to uh, uh, to stream elements. I don't know if they're having issues with it today or if it's just not working. Uh, they they're their bots working, but maybe the, uh, chat isn't because I saw it pulling in just just to give you a heads up. We will work on it this weekend, but we're we're now completely free of of. Streamlabs <laughs> or whatever that that whatever, other one that other one whatever they're calling themselves that other yeah. one yeah so oh hey hi I'm, I'm hi Amanda Gray uh, with uh, a parrot hi parrot hi parrot hi pipe hi pipe caca will a stream but uh, yeah so so far we don't trust the eight ball of stream elements it has lied to us repeatedly the answer is that it's pretty <laughs> I don't know maybe it didn't maybe it doesn't. I mean, if we look at the previous answers when it asked if I would uh, hate the game or if I would like the game yesterday and it said that I absolutely would not. And I absolutely loved the game yesterday. We played Pummel Party. Uh, Brilliant game. Go check it out. It's like Mario Party, but on computer. Yeah, Um, but it's not Mario Party and it's a lot more bloody and you can hit someone with a wrecking ball. So it's beautiful. Mm hmm. Um, All the things Mario Party wish it could be. uh, I'm thinking of joining a local gym for the swimming pool. Should I? Apol says it is so. It is so. All right, oh, yeah. I'm chilling. But it also called me cute. So uh... also, I think we've learned now that Chili can swim. So or float. I don't know. <laughs> or or he's going to join so that or, he can learn to swim. Who or knows? or the local gym's really got a sauna, and Chili's just going to sit in there uh, and, and enjoy steaming himself. I don't know how steamed chili would be. <laughs> anyway, welcome to 2022. <laughs> We're starting it right off with some experimental comedy. <laughs> From my side, even. <laughs> Ooh, starting strong. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so last week we did a yet another plans for the plan list stream, and that went pretty well, I think. Yeah, uh, we, we, I, we, I stood up the whole time. It was, uh, you did, you were awake the entire time and talking to us. Yeah. Uh, and went to bed right as soon as it hit midnight at my time. Yeah, that's accurate. Uh, well, did I go to bed right away? I think I like watched something and then like passed out after that. You were so. pretty close. I know Susan jumped off about half hour early, but yeah. Um, so 
we we did plans for the plan list. We had tons of people uh, show up and hang out with us and and uh, go through all their their New Year's time zones. Uh, you know, uh, oh, we got most of the North American ones. Yes, uh, and we had, we, we started uh, well after Europe. Yeah, made it to the new year. So. We, we we could have started that early, but then that's a lot of streaming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we already we, streamed for six hours. We we would have had a stream for what at least nine, probably. Probably. Yeah. Uh, but we had a, a lovely turnout of people. Tibian Salts was there. It stood up. His, his yep. lovely lovely wife uh, said that he could stay up and hang out with the friends, and okay. and she would take care of the kids in the morning, and uh. I think uh, Chili was around for a bit. Chili was around for a bit. Shanty Man oh, showed up. Uh, yep. Cass came and joined us. Cass drew one of the best shirts I've ever seen for Chili. Yeah, as you I, pop in. <laughs> oh, we had a couple of really good shirts. Oh, we had great shirts. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, I, yeah. I was going to say, uh, and now that we're in the new year, we've uh, we've started raiding. Yes, so uh, we. I mean, we haven't actually started. We started raiding yeah. last year. Yes. Uh, but now that it's the new year, we can start like savage raiding. Savage raiding. Uh, and we, we did a little uh, test jaunt, uh, I would say, on Zodiac. And we did it. Uh, we did it. Yeah. So we did it. Uh, we followed our Dorito and we lived. Uh, we had some troubles, but. We made it. Eventually, we survived. We, eventually, we, we got it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Survival wasn't the problem. Damage. We needed Dam more damage. We need more damage. And now we got the damage, so we're okay. <laughs> so, uh, and Sun we're learning things. Yes. Sunday, we will step into uh, the first uh, fight of Savage and and see where we end up. If anything, even if it's just a prognate, it's pro you know progression. So if we get you know, a if we see a phase, we'll be happy. I think so. <laughs> I think we will definitely see a phase. Uh -huh. Like we get that as soon as you pull. So yeah. You know, I, well, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> really, our, most of our group has been battling cues. That's it's the same. I think mm -hmm. situation that most of us have been dealing with. So it's just people get kicked or whatever the case is, and it's unfortunate. So it's it's been rough. <sighs> Log yeah, login is phase one. Chili says. <laughs> login is phase. The login is phase zero. Yeah, login phase zero. And phase one. <laughs> Susan has created a lovely uh, wiggle reminder for our chat, uh, which tells you to uh, go and move your character if you are currently in Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah. So that you don't get logged out if you are currently playing. It's true. As uh, both her and I are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I crafted. So, uh, I also, I got Susan the best Christmas gift ever, uh, mm -hmm. and I didn't write this, uh, Susan put, this is Susan's notes cause, uh, Susan's <laughs> producer. Notes. It is. It's in bright purple. It's in bright purple. Uh, so s I acquired, uh, the, uh, God, what are the names of those things? The, I, we just call it, we've been calling them bird balls for so long that I forgot. What oh, yeah. Uh, the Copper? Copper Cur. Uh, I, I got Susan the Corporate uh, soap dispensers from Japan. So uh, they, they came in as a set. I imported them from Japan. She has both of them and uh, they take uh, foaming soap like you have to get like the, the foamy soap, but she loves them so much. So best. I think those pictures ever. either in our discord or on her Twitter. Uh, both. <laughs> that sounds so, about right. So uh they uh so and uh, she got some other cool stuff but i think that was her favorite thing so i got i got her i got her i tried to throw her off the scent of the bird balls uh, uh soap dispensers so i uh i got her uh, a uh a game from uh the people who created uh, exploding kittens uh called uh mm -hmm. what was it called uh burbs or a little, a, oh, uh, a little burby, which is uh, a word game surrounded, but based on birds. So not like the bird game we played. Uh, so, but it's got like wingspan? humor. Uh, yeah, <laughs> is that the one you were talking about? No, but I didn't get her wingspan. It's actually a word game, uh, but there's right, right, right. cards involved, and the, it's all based on the characters of the oatmeal. So, so if you know the oatmeal web comic, then. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a very bird heavy holiday season. That is true. 
Uh, so, uh, and if, yeah. Also, if you listen to our last bonus round, you would have heard us playing Wingspan, <laughs> which you would have. That uh, was a long bonus round. It was a long bonus round. Also, a comedy of errors. So, <laughs> so uh, how we'll, do you we'll, play game? Yeah. Uh, well, I know how to do news, and we should probably jump into that next. So. All right, let's lighten ra- lightning round the news. <laughs> oh, boy. Lightning round. All right. Our friends Moogle Round uh, reached 900 followers on their Twitch. When they reach 1,000, Chili will wear an inflatable penguin costume. Uh, that costume will be purchased by Tibiet Salts, and Chili will be wearing it on stream. So uh, 100 to go. I, th- I think I think we'll see that. I think we'll see that before maybe June. I, th- I feel like that's a, p- a possibility for them. I think we'll see Chili in a giant penguin suit before the month of June. So unless something really slows down on their side, but, but I, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, so um, the ESO team, I, I, I put this in here because uh, I, it's oddly uh, it's familiar to all of us here in the Final Fantasy <laughs> universe. The ESO team is also having issues acquiring server hardware. So, uh, kind of a trend. I, yeah. So, uh, if you think <laughs> again, just to anybody listening to this, that Square Enix is lying or they just, they're not, <laughs> you know, like, oh, they could just throw money at it. Remind you that ESO's team, Zenimax, the people who create ESO, have Microsoft money <laughs> now. <laughs> And Microsoft money does not solve the problem. So if that gives you any indication of like where the tech world or MMOs are in in the world of like trying to acquire this hardware, Microsoft money doesn't take care. (laughs) So, yeah, I mean, they did. There's there's no money. Yeah. And and they go into their post and they say that they did acquire some of it, but they had already pre-purchased it before. That so some of their server hardware has been updated. Now they're trying to get the rest of it because it was supposed to be finished this last year, but now they're trying to trying to finish it in 2022. So uh, the and other Microsoft thing, Microsoft has their whole or the, their whole own server division as well. They, so. they really do, and so the fact that I don't think they're transferring over to that yet. I think maybe they were already contracted before the Microsoft purchase. So probably, uh, and I and I don't know what it would take to. They to could pull out those resources if they wanted to. They, they really could. Uh, also, uh, the studio had uh, openly stated that their team's health comes first in 2022 and that the content might be different this year due to that focus. Uh, they said that the last few years have been really hard, not as a developer from a developer standpoint, but just as a personal standpoint. And they really want to stand by their team's families and friends and they all are remote and they want to make sure that they are giving themselves enough mental health. Oh, they even, I think even like alluded to mental health. Uh, so mm-hmm. that the content this year, it's a hard thing. I don't think it's going to suffer. I just think that they're not going to like go as hard as they've gone in the past. And mm-hmm. I honestly, to be fair, I think the same thing has happened with the Final Fantasy team, right? Like they've said that like we used to give right. you a lot of this content. Now we can start pulling back a little bit and giving our team a little bit of a break because they yeah. needed to over deliver. Same thing with ESO. They had a really rough start at the beginning, much like Final Fantasy 14. Now, now that now that they're in a good spot and we can stay easily in the top five MMOs uh, in, in the, the, I mean, ever right now, like I would say in the current ranking of things, ESO is in the top five easily. Um, mm-hmm. that, I mean, there, there's a whole lot out there. In the no, I, and anything that's come out doesn't done so well. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, and speaking of ESO, uh, they just launched a teaser uh, and a uh, teaser trailer for uh, their new expansion that they'll be doing a global reveal on January 27th, 2022. That's going to be at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern uh, and 8 p.m. GMT. So if you are curious to see where that is going, go check it out. Uh, I believe they're giving away a pet and it looks like a, a coral crab and it's got a crab with all coral stuck to it. It's crab. Cool. So I haven't got my crab yet. So I will be uh, in attendance to see what they're they're uh, coming up with. So uh, Team Whiskers teammate and future MR guest Dad TV is a guest on the latest episode of Generic uh, and Walkers, Jen and Eric's Final Fantasy 14 podcast. So go give that a listen if you want to uh, hear them uh, talk to Dad TV. Um, Square Enix has some news that about please confirm your Square Enix account registration information. Uh, they're having some issues and it's causing issues for people that have not done that. So go do that if you've not. Um, 
Heaven's turn is here until January 19th because of the delay of Endwalker. They've decided to push it back, of course. So that was probably the natural thing to do. Um, so uh, go get a uh, tiger shirt and uh, tiger wallboard housing item and then tiger hats. So, so tiger screen, tiger, tiger, sh- tiger, 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 tiger. tiger. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's, uh, a, that's a throwback. Uh, <laughs> and, and last but not least, uh, and this again, this uh, I will probably take a little bit of a. I, I, it's I. I don't. It's again. I don't think that the note's right. I don't think the note's technically right. I agree no. with you, and I don't think that's the note's not right to us. I, I just think it's how the article was written to pers- to give that information, and I don't know if it was just well, the article's one hundred percent written to be clickbait. Yeah, so that's that's not the that's yeah that's so <laughs> it's not. Uh, they highlighted uh, that the uh, Amazon the way it was written is that Amazon is developing a multi platform game with EverQuest developers. What they didn't tell you or clarify really uh, deep in there is that they are developers that used to work at Sony Online Entertainment slash Daybreak have gone over to Amazon and are working on a uh, a thing, uh, a new game. So this is not. um, So, yeah, and it's it's and it's hype. That's the thing that unfortunately it's hype and some people have given into that hype where they're like, Ooh, uh, like an ever, an EverQuest remake. So, uh, so not EverQuest next or no, uh, too soon, Shelly too soon. So is EverQuest getting a 64 bit upgrade to their launchers? Yeah, that, that is true. That is the thing, but it's because all windows Wait, they're still not 64 bit at this point. No, they're doing, uh, oh. launching this month or next month. It's soon, like soon, soon. So, but they have to because Windows is going away from 32 bit completely and they need their game on the OS that supports it. So, (laughs) so uh, do I think EverQuest is going to be left out in the dark? No, I think EG7 has proven that they're giving money to Daybreak and other other companies to develop games. Um, EG7, like I said, is I followed that company a little bit because they they brought back Mech Warrior, uh, despite what the Mech Warrior developers have done in the past. I don't like them so much, but uh, the like the fact that they give money to studios are not like a Gamigo or something like that. They're not setting off Daybreak to go die. Uh, uh, so. Again, <laughs> yeah, again, yeah. So the, they're they're looking at this. They're actually bringing one H1Z1 back, and actually the survival part of it is back as well. Like they're that is a, that was a good choice. So, like the it's fact that they're even bringing that back is is so. Do I think we'll get EverQuest news? I, if anything, mm-hmm. it'll be near the end of this year if we get any news at all. So that's that's. If we I, get any news, I'd be extremely surprised and I, also extremely worried. I, I, I just don't know who. Well, I don't know if I'd be worried. I'd be. I want to know what they're gonna do. <laughs> like if Amazon what? has any say in it i would be worried it oh that yeah i we can that, that's, a, <laughs> yeah, that's there's a whole history that, there. that's a whole i mean currently yeah i mean yeah yeah i mean i don't know there's just a mistake I mean, Listen, in general, I, Amazon, this, is, this but... is not a podcast where we just say let me list all the mistakes that they made on new world and i can't <laughs> figure i can't fathom why they made those mistakes as they're all veteran mmo creators oh i wasn't even talking about new world <laughs> Just I don't know. I just uh, anyway. You want to talk about what we're doing this year? <laughs> uh, sure. What are we doing this year? A lot. Uh, so <laughs> so uh, it, as you all know, this uh, we we kind of did it. We did a, we did do a bonus episode talking about our our last within our last year of 2021 and kind of our hopes for 2022. Uh, so that was our uh, December 25th episode, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now. <laughs> So now we're going to talk a little bit about what we're doing in 20. Now that we're in 22, talk a little bit about 2022. Uh, we're still looking for our MR motto. We're, we're 
leaving we it have up some to candidates. We do have some candidates. Have candidates. Uh, and Spirobot has not it doesn't let us down. We we do have some can strong candidates. Maybe it'll be a mixture of a couple of candidates into one lengthy motto. Uh, but our mm-hmm. new motto will be will be on the way. Um, hopefully, uh, and it'll inspire us for the rest of this year. Um, so I, I think some of the things that, you know, what we're going to continue doing for sure is of course, interviewing people, uh, like we said er- a little bit ago, dad TV is one of our future guests. So, mm-hmm. uh, we, we don't we wanna... have lots of guests. We're currently booking <laughs> out into March at this point. We are. So, uh, and we're 2021 not 21 just started. We're just started and we're not slowing down on talking to people because we, we think that's the most interesting part. Of, we, we've always said that the most interesting part of this community is you, you, the people that play the game. Um, and it's not always going to be people that are, um, like anonymous or, or, or Sarah or chili or even like, sometimes we're going to just talk to regular players of, of the games. Uh, like Sarah so, and anonymous and chili. It's here and chili. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, and also, you know, Quentin and I are, you know, it, it, like part of our tagline for Maelstrom Radio is that the greater MMO community. So what are other like we still want to look at other MMOs like, yes, we are a Final Fantasy 14 podcast, but what are M- other MMOs doing? Are they doing it better than Final Fantasy 14? I mean, we've never shied away from saying. Is someone doing something better? What can Final Fantasy learn from it? You know, and, you know, will we you know check it out and talk to somebody from that community yeah of course like when the when the uh the eso expansion drops maybe we get hyper pixie back on and talk about it and you know what she's excited about and what new features they're going to be adding um so uh, i need a vegan peat clicker uh you know count four. Oh no <laughs> now great now i know there's a word crutch now i'm going to be watching myself uh so it's a it's going to be an interesting year for us. Uh, our, we're going to be in 200 episodes come June uh, for our wow, anniversary. Already? Our, our, yeah, our anniversary. Uh, we went we went we, we, we went again. to weekly. We went to weekly. It also we caught up. No. So uh, our sixth year uh, doing doing the show and creating content and uh, we'll be ringing them with 200 episodes. Um, I do not know what will happen. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> we, uh, again, uh, hopefully our plans for Christmas will happen this year. I think we mentioned it on our bonus round. So I, I'm hoping that now that we have enough time that we started planning a year in advance last time. We yeah. We need to plan well, well in advance this time. So, uh, hopefully it, it's all good by the time we actually want to pull it all together. So, um so and then uh there's some new things on the way for us so uh you know right five was that five now now i'm counting myself for five you knows uh we have new no. email yeah Uno. oh boy seven. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> uh Uno we have, reverse we have <laughs> we have new emotes on the way uh mr's had the ability to add like a bajillion That's new emotes. Of emotes yeah a lot we've, we've of emotes. a lot uh so we have new emotes coming uh, on the way uh and we'll probably add more emotes throughout the year we even have access to animated emotes um so eventually we'll oh one i think we have one animated emote right now i, I think we have well i can look but i'm not gonna look now <laughs> so we <laughs> we might have multiple spots for animated emotes but still uh we have a lot of emote uh uh areas to fill out and we want to make sure that if people are subscribing to our channel you're getting you're getting something for it not just the content here uh if you're you know we would like to give you emotes and stuff like that and also we have it set up on our discord that if you do subscribe to our channel here you get a you get a a nifty purple twitch color on our on our thing it automatically happens so um but as always i don't think is it no i don't think it's purple anymore is it not we changed it? Did we change the color? No, because I have my cultists are purple. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, not a cult. Uh, <laughs> hashtag not a cult. Uh, we also, uh, I, I believe we also want to, you know, eventually talk about D and D, and if that's a possibility this year, I think it's all going to be dependent on the next time we can. I think How break the campaign goes. Uh, the campaign goes. So, 
Yeah. So. Although we we were doing pretty well with it, so we should be able to. I think we'll be able to wrap it up this year. Yeah, I mean, as long to see how long it goes. I mean, I I don't know how far heels you had it planned out or is willing to plan it out. Um, our our campaign may end this year. Our characters may continue on, or maybe we'll try new characters if if heels you decides to to continue doing D and D and, and DMing uh, for us <laughs> for the foreseeable future. Uh, I hope so. I, I do like uh, playing D and D on Wednesdays. So uh, mm-hmm. and eventually we'll have to share, share some of those fun stories with you all. So. Um, <laughs> Tully and I made a bet. Uh, there's uh, a yes. The bet. Yeah. There's we can only uh, add a few more weeks on the bet though. Uh, yes. Uh, so I think what will happen is that uh, when when the time comes, I'll like I'll I'll grab Chili for a stream and then uh, we'll we'll watch the video. And. Uh, and then we'll 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 figure it out from there. <laughs> so. So it did end de- de- December 31st. So oh. That's correct. So it's it's over like but the time frame to to change my character is up or to to. Uh, we're not talking about it now. No, we're uh, so we're we're uh, we're, we're talking about it, but Chili and I will do like a special stream for it. Does that make sense? Like I, we're talking about it now, but we'll do a special stream for it. <laughs> the event. <laughs> the event. I think I think Susan. Hope that, I hope I, I hope I I hope I clarify that Susan. <laughs> I hope that's clear. I hope she'll get back to me. So um, the Chili was supposed to unlock fl- uh, flying uh, clear as mud. Uh, Chili's supposed to unlock flying in all the zones. Uh, he has done that. So uh, I have to I have to change to whatever uh, race uh, Chili wants me to be for a week. So mm-hmm. and then uh, we will we will do a special uh race changing stream ceremony where uh i chili will prove to choose yeah chili gets to choose and and you know it'll be a big spectacle it'll be a big thing so like the glasses anyways yeah uh yeah no no (laughs) uh uh okay so uh we are still trying to reach <laughs> susan's confused okay all right well susan's confused Spectacle, okay. spectacles is the old timey word for glasses well yeah i'm this sounds very vague it, is it a spectacle without street vendors uh i mean there can be street vendors we can I go think to, that means that we should get some street vendors like a person selling like a rapas <laughs> Nah, street meat. Street meat? Tacos. Street oh. meat and tacos. Like, what is street meat? <laughs> you never had street meat? How do you live and how, don't know what I live in Indiana. <laughs> I don't think... Susan, do we have street meat? <laughs> and how come I've not had street meat? <laughs> well, the, COVID's probably a good answer for that. Oh, fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Susan says Dango. Ah, uh, Dango's. Ah, uh, Dango's okay. I mean, there's a hot dog guy that does. Susan knows what street meat <laughs> is. <laughs> I I so want that guy to change his like cart name to Street Meat. <laughs> You can, you can buy, buy CMOS. CMOS? Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Let me explain that real quick. Uh so not not to sidetrack our show, but on the corner by the Dollar General, uh there's somebody that sells CMOS and I was like, "What the heck is CMOS and why am I buying it for $20 mm-hmm. in a pill form?" Uh and apparently CMOS uh it invigorates men. Let's just say that's that's what ah. it's supposed to do. Now, is that what You're it does? Buy it from the sketchy, sketchy vendor on the corner that sells it out pills. out of yeah, sells pills out of the back of his car that says CMOS twenty dollars. Oh yeah, that sounds reputable. Yeah, you. Hey. <laughs> 
Could you be using some more energy, let's say, in the bedrooms and whatnot? <laughs> $20, I gave you the CMOS. Boom, knock it out. No problem. <laughs> no? Not good? Maybe I sell CMOS. I need a side hustle. Isn't that like the whole thing? Like to become financially independent in <laughs> 2022? I know with the goal of getting people <laughs> financially independent in 2022, we're still trying to reach 777 followers. We will Take not. That for a segue. Sure. Uh, we will. And you don't need to. And uh, to follow us here on Twitch, we will not. You don't need to, like, accept CMOS from us. That's not no. that part of the deal. I highly recommend it against it. So. Oh, Susan, this train is so far off the track. It's turning into a demon. Uh, but yeah, if we hit the seven seven fo seven follower goal, then uh, Peter and I are going to do a Kigurumi stream. We mm -hmm. are still trying to figure out because no one knows what my Kigurumi is. Uh, we do know what Peter's is, though. So uh, yeah, we're, we're, that that's a goal we're going to work towards. And I think like overall for this year, um, like we started off the year with what six hundred ish followers, I think it was somewhere around six hundred, five hundred. 500? Okay, 500. Yeah. Like, I, I, don't, I don't have the stats. I'm in the mod view. I can't see our follower count. Uh, so if we started around the 500... It's, it's actually... No, no, a, a little lower, because look, it's right there in the little box. <laughs> what little box? There's no little box. Yeah, down, down in our notes. No, I'm... Oh. No, 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 that's not how many followers we have. Unique to this year. Oh, yeah, I was talking about just how many followers we have in total. Oh, we're we're up at like six hundred. Uh, yeah, that's sixty. But I thought. But this year, yeah. I mean, this past year, so, we gained two hundred and five, which is pretty great. <laughs> right, but what I'm saying is, for this year, since we started off at six hundred, I think a very reasonable fifty percent goal of getting another three hundred followers is pretty reasonable. Sure. So, like, that's our goal is six sixty six, which is like sixty some odd people away from where we are currently. Mm -hmm. But overall, in twenty twenty. We get like 900 people. That would be about good. Yeah. Or 2022. Sorry. Let's make it happen. Mm hmm. We can make it happen. It's all up to you. <laughs> Listen, you out there. Yeah. Or once this is not something that we can rig. Hashtag yeah. petty for the kids. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, normally we can buy our way into winning a lot of things, but this <laughs> now we, we, we could do that, but. <laughs> It's frowned upon. <laughs> so, uh -huh. so instead, uh, you know, this is the part where we ask you to share us with everybody, even your grandmother. <laughs> I mean, we do very well in the mother demographics. So. Yeah, maybe, you know, what's true. Know why? Do you think maybe this year we have Paul's mom ask us questions again? Oh, yes. OK, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we need Paul's mom to, we need uh, Paul to acquire questions from his mother. <laughs> I don't know how we make that happen, but we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. On it. All right. Uh, so along the lines of goals that we have for 2022, uh, against my better judgment, I did put up a new uh, channel point goal. So we are currently uh, working towards a channel point goal, which has a very, very high margin because, or a, uh, uh, goal uh, because we want people to get rid of their points that they've never used and because also I don't want to do it uh, but if we happen to reach this goal within the next 20 days uh, thank you Shanty Man for another 2,000 points towards said goal uh, I will be streaming solo a game uh, we're not sure which game that is yet we're not sure what that will entail if it's going to be a longer game if it's going to be a shorter game it's going to depend a lot on kind of what happens with this and, and what sort of uh, interest there is. So. Uh, Ooh, that's true. Uh, so Susan is alluding in chat so that we don't have it up on screen and we also don't have it in uh, the recorded episode. The questions from Paul's mom can be part of the soon to be mentioned on the episode mailbag episode. So <clears throat> I. We used to do this uh, in the old episodes, and uh, I, th we want to bring it back. Long time ago. Long time ago. That's uh, forever. And we want to bring it back because we have a lot of new listeners, and with new listeners means that we can ask, we can make the ask again that 
uh, we we would like for you to email us uh, questions uh, at show at maelstromradio.com. Uh, we're opening up the mailbox again. Uh, you can ask us Final Fantasy questions, MMO questions, questions, you know, even sometimes involving... If you ask about life questions, be prepared because Peter does answer those. I do answer those. That's true. There's I will an- deep life questions. I go back. Some I, history. I, yeah, there really is. I will answer all your questions. <laughs> and who knows one of our one of our uh, previous uh, correspondents, I guess, that that emailed us at the beginning of the show uh, was Susan, who is now our producer. So if you send us email, who knows what will ever happen? In- yeah, I'll move in with you. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll buy a house. <laughs> oh, get a dog and a cat. Yeah. Some frog soap dispensers. Oh, not frogs. Sorry. Yeah. I'm not. Sure. I think Susan. Frogs. I think I could hear Susan laughing from the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Chili, well, time to delete the email. <laughs> Warning: email may contain. Uh, Send us your emails. I'll move right into you. Share with you. Share with you all my CMOS. <laughs> uh, however, if you do want to send us stuff, you can email us at show at maelstromradio.com dot uh, or tweet us on Twitter uh, or join our Discord and, and ask us questions there. Uh, we tend to be around. I'm with you, Cass. Don't share the CMOS. <laughs> it is terrifying. Uh, but yeah, you, there's many ways for you to contact us, send us messages. Uh, we are going to go ahead and try to answer those as best as we can. Um, and, and, and I will say that's not limited. We, uh, you know, we, I've, I've run guilds, you know, a large chunk of my life. So if you have FC questions and about running FCs in the game or jo- joining one and stuff like that, uh, you know, and of course, like that could always lead to like full bonus round episodes of us just opening up the mailbox mm-hmm. and answering things. So uh, it, it, we're looking at like, you know, how how we can answer your questions. So, um, if although if to- anyone just emails the Maelstrom Radio account and says and asks why, um, one be prepared for a long answer. If you ask specifically why Maelstrom Radio, I still don't know the answer. I've been asking the giant glowing sunball and uh, listen, uh, Sar- games for a while now. Saren Anonymous can never answer me why why Scythe Man. So, <laughs> so it depends on who checks the MR email first. That is correct. And uh, if anyone happens to get an email from the Maelstrom Ra- from Maelstrom Radio that says, uh, "Would you like to buy some CMOS?" guarantee you it's not susan or i that's sending it it's true uh that's a different email that's that's cmos at maelstrom radio <laughs> that does not exist do not email that <laughs> um i i am glad that i am the one that has the administrative control over he, our he, uh email accounts i just i handle all the editing uh <laughs> Uh, so uh, speaking of some of our stats, uh, you know, something I think we can all like, I think the whole team can be really proud of is that we streamed over 2000, we streamed to 2,663 hours last year. Uh, and that's, that's how many, and streams. that's how many the viewers watch too. Uh, we were, we were hours live. I'm sorry. We, uh, 266, uh, 2,663 uh, hours watched total by the viewers. We streamed 341 hours. Um, we gained 205 unique followers and, uh, uh we somehow accumulated, or I think overall the viewers accumulated over 200,000 uh, uh, channel points. So thank you, Chili. <clears throat> thank you, Chili. Uh, <coughs> uh, Susan. And last year there was 45 Maelstrom episodes and five bonus round episodes. Uh, we produced a lot of content last year. Um, and, you know, going from something that was. I, I, I don't want to say we did the impossible because I don't think what we did was impossible, but we did something I don't think. Um, fought I'll, the power. I, I don't think I, I think what we did was something that a lot of Final Fantasy 14 podcasts didn't do. Right. They did the opposite of what we did. They went biweekly <laughs> or they went to. Susan says we focused. We 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 yeah, we we focused, but then we focused really on to 
we went back to doing weekly shows and we did it during a a, a drought but a spike does that make sense i hope that makes sense like well, it, I, it wasn't a drought so much it was there wasn't a whole lot of new final fantasy content coming out but there was a whole bunch of new final fantasy players coming, coming in out. yeah from the whole issue with blizzard and, and wow over the summer and we're Should've... still seeing a huge influx of players from that like we're well we're still in queues that are hundreds or if not thousands of p- players long every day so this, this is why you have to source true cmos and not off-brand cmos that's what happened to why are we talking about cmos still stop <laughs> stop with the cmos <laughs> I think Susan's Let laughing us, again. <laughs> are we, we're going to make Peter the unofficial like CMOS brand ambassador. He's going to have his own little CMOS emote. That would be so cute. Can we get like a little like a cute like doe eyed CMOS emote? It's, it's going to be a bear that's just kind of limp and hung over. I would love that so much. You don't know how much I want that. I want that so much. <laughs> oh. Pocky guys just posted Blastoise. <laughs> I'd uh, be more like a Snorlax. <laughs> Aw. True. Uh, so, <laughs> so with that, uh, speaking of, uh, you know, you know, you go from CMOS to this next point, pr- point. producing, <laughs> producing uh, quality content. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so, uh, starting this month and oh. hopefully for the, the foreseeable future, uh, we're going to be trying out a monthly Saturday episode. Uh, our first one will be on Saturday, January 29th at 12 PM Pacific, 3 PM Eastern. That will be with Arjuna Griever of team whiskers, formerly known as Mr. Squicks. Um, <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> Uh, that's allowing us to do two things. One, to invite, um, a lot of our team whisker folks who are across the pond who do not stay up past everybody's bedtime, like Chili and Paul, mm-hmm. uh, onto our show and, and to talk about Final Fantasy and talk about them. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, also that allows us to free up one Friday every month to do game night. And that's something that we've been wanting to do for a while. And, and we haven't found a time frame to do it. Now we do. Now we have that time frame. Uh, and you know, and Susan's like bubble party. <laughs> All cast. I was gonna say, and if you didn't join our stream yesterday, you would have missed out on the amazing pummel party game that we played. Uh, it was brilliant. We absolutely loved uh, how the AIs destroyed each other. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And it's uh, up to eight players. Mm-hmm. So we can get a bunch of people in. Uh, it's beautiful. It is available on Steam. You do have to buy it. Uh, it was on sale for $15 yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure how long that will last, though. I, I think 15 uh, bucks is the normal price. It was on sale for like eight ninety nine. So. Oh, OK. You so it's, not, it's 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 really not that expensive of a game. And honestly, it's they they've that continuously was beautiful. They continuously update it. So if it's something that you think that you're going to be buying and like it, no one's updating it, they've updated all the way up to December of last year. So there's constantly adding new content and mini games to it. So think of it as like a Mario Party purchase. And Nintendo's not trying to push out another Mario, Mario Party in like two years <laughs> you have to buy it again with all the same mini games in it. And this one has giant. Uh... Laser cannons. balls and laser cannons and laser cannons. And uh, was it remote detonated eggplants? And <laughs> yep, yep, eggplants and, that explode and uh, cactus not ghillie in a suits. fun way. Yeah, cactus ghillie suits. Yeah. Oh, the mu- music is bumping. It's all it's a great game. It's, 15, it's beautiful. It's a great party game for 15 bucks. Honestly, a solid, solid game. Um, tactical cacti. That's right. So Act. Tactical cacti. So we want to play games with you. We want to. We want to connect uh, more with our uh, our amazing community over at Maelstrom Radio and our Discord and <laughs> all of you hanging out. Uh, and we want to hit you with uh, wrecking bolts. So <laughs> ignore that last little bit. <laughs> I mean, Seamoss. Peter's been having and a hit me. Yeah, Seamoss. Seamoss too hard much. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get like a cease and desist from like cmos.com. Or something. Like, Welcome to episode 177, the decline of cmos. Shit. Oh my. See, is C- cmos a Pokemon? <laughs> no, no. But it might be a type. A type of Pokemon, or yeah. 
like a Seamoss is not a Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, like, like Seamoss, I choose you. Seamoss <laughs> is resistant to fire. Is it? Are, you just, are we looking up Seamoss facts now? Welcome no. to C. Welcome to Seamoth, uh, Seamoss Weekly, where uh, <laughs> Quentin and I discuss... Water and grass are too tight. <laughs> Now, if they made a water grass but, type. <laughs> but but did you know that sea moss is actually um oh shoot, what's the word? The the one super effective uh opposite. Opposite super effective? Yeah. Super defective. <laughs> like it'd be vulnerable would be the normal word, but anyways. Hyper vulnerable. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> is it baby? <laughs> Not very effective. Yeah, that's the words that they use in the game. But uh... anyway, sea moss is not very not effective that... against stone. Okay, that's not how that guy's portraying it on the corner. <laughs> no, 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 it's not not very against effective against stone. Oh, okay. Stone is super effective against it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wait, no. Stone is not super effective. How does Anyways, stone work? We're way off topic at this point. <laughs> oh. So, uh, in short, if you can, if you listen all the way to this, here's the TLDR. Uh, more Final Fantasy fourteen this year. Uh, more MMO talk this year. Rock type. It's rock type. Rock type. Uh, Pantheon, Pantheon, Rise of the Fallen's. Uh, uh, I believe their first uh, uh, alpha gameplay will be this year. So I'm sure I'll I'll Ooh, talk that's about that's exciting. I'll I'll talk about that uh, when that ever does happen. Um, and uh, so. Speaking of talking and people we like to talk to, uh, Friday, January 14th, episode 178, guest Shantyman, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Shantyman Gaming, will be here uh, to talk to us, hopefully not about CMOS. <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean, you know, if you want. <laughs> if you come on the show, Shantyman, because I know you're listening, or you will before... Uh that you, you're coming on here. Uh, if you come on the show and have a CMOS shanty ready, I... Mm, mm -mm. I'm going to need a soundboard for my response. <laughs> mm -mm, not okay. All right, well. Prepare your finest CMOS material. <laughs> no, I think, I think the guy in your corner has the finest CMOS materials, so... Yeah. Just take a pill. Challenge accepted. Oh no. So that's what your impression is of me. Bold with lingering flavor. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. All right. Seamoss, <laughs> uh, it makes you a boss. Yeah. Uh, picture Seamoss and Seamoss accessories. There you go. Well, we did it. <laughs> I'm not sure what we did. But we, it. We did it. Uh,. <laughs> So uh, like, because of the CMOS. Yeah. And, and before we get out of here, I, I think uh, the one thing. Uh, uh, at least, you know, I think all of us here at Mouse Reboot, we want to say is thank you. Uh, thank you for an amazing 2021. And hopefully thank you for an amazing 2022. We'll see when we get to the end of it. But uh, I think if the CMOS thing happens, it's not going to be great. But uh and all honestly, we we came back and focused on Final Fantasy 14. We still want to talk to you about that and, and other games, of course, and, and, and more people. And we're doing everything we can to facilitate, you know, it, you know, talking to folks, you know, in other countries and, and bringing those uh, conversations to you. Um, so thank you. Thank you for sharing uh, us with other people, your FCs, your friends, uh, sharing us out on Twitter uh facebook wherever you decide to share us thank you so much and and even just blurbing us out on other shows uh or your twitch channels truly we we appreciate it uh the the growth we've seen since coming back has noticed we we notice it we see it we can look at our numbers and and it's it still surprises me like when i go look at our, our at those numbers and and see that you know we're trending where I didn't think we would. <laughs> so, uh, thank you all. I, I appreciate it. And, uh, I, I know Susan does and for sure. I know Quentin does as well, because 
it motivates us. It motivates us to want us to to do better and produce better content and hopefully never talk about CMOS ever again past this episode. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, 2022 really started off with uh, performance enhancing. <laughs> I was going to say there's nowhere else we can go but up, but those already took care of it. (laughs) Well. (laughs) Till C swallows all. Keep listening. Maelstrom Radio is brought to you by maelstromradio.com and Blackfire Media. Produced by Flattis, Shintier, and Susan Sprinkle. Join us live Fridays, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash maelstromradio. Send email to show at maelstromradio.com, tweet us at maelstrom underscore radio, or join our Discord at maelstromradio.com slash discord. Views and opinions expressed by our hosts and guests do not reflect the views and opinions of any companies discussed on today's show. And everybody, I, I, I know you're still here. Uh, the show's ended, but uh, I forgot to raid somebody, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> Get a Twitch advertisement and that advertisement for CMOS. We take no responsibility. That's true. That's uh, not on us. That, that is, is on not your personal that, advertising that, preferences. Yeah, that's, that's Google. Uh, no, no, Amazon. Oh, that's right. It's Amazon. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, we could go read Limit Break Radio. Uh, I believe uh, that Aniro is finishing and Walker. So. Ooh. Mm hmm. So we'll, we'll send some love that way. All right. So and w- say hi to Nero and Limit Break Radio. If you are still finishing up Endwalker, you might want to uh, drop out of the stream after the raid. Yeah. Uh, but uh, definitely go say hello. Join our raid. Yep. And I, we gave you a warning before I clicked the start raid thing. So if you uh, would like to, when you join, you raid the channel. If you would like to uh, inform Nero all about CMOS, please be my guest. <laughs> Boy. Uh, I'd love to see his reaction. Of course. Uh, Thank you all again, and we'll see you Monday. Bye. Monday.